All right, welcome back here, everybody, to our last lesson. And in this last lesson, we're going to go ahead and build our character UI. Uh, I tend to like to have a UI for every single character rig that I build. Um, this way, it makes it much easier for animators to go ahead and select those controls. And to do this, we're simply going to use the ABX Picker script, which is downloadable from Creative Crash. And I will put this in the scripts folder so that you guys can uh, have that script. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch it here. Okay. Um, but first things, what we really need to go ahead and do to build a character UI is I want to make sure that we have an image um, for the background here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and just close that. Uh, I'll go ahead and render this inside of V-Ray. And I'm not really going to render a super large image. Um, I'm just going to render a, a basic image here. Okay, let me go ahead and just shrink this down here a little bit. Uh, I'll render a, let's say, a, an HD 720 square or an HD 720 size. So it's going to be 1280 by 720, uh, the exact size of you know what would be my monitor resolution here. And I'm going to change my filter type here to 4 just so I get a, uh, a crisp image nothing too major um, I'll go ahead and make sure that I select the camera here as well I'm gonna hit control A and just make sure that my environment here is going to be completely black because I want the uh, model here to stand out and we can also go ahead and just jump into our hyper shade here and let me go ahead and just pull this over this is gonna give us a rather large hyper shade here so I'll just need to shrink this down a little bit okay and just make sure that that material loads go ahead and apply this to uh, our model and go ahead and into the attributes of this material and then I'm just going to simply turn it um, not a hundred percent white but wide enough that it's going to uh, stand out against the background okay just make sure that you know that material is also back here because I can just simply return this gray um, just so that you guys can go ahead and render that as needed you go ahead and just throw that off there okay I'll go ahead and open up my render window you're gonna see that this is gonna come in fairly large so I need to shrink this down a little bit okay go ahead and just uh, render this out real quick so there it doesn't really take uh, too long to go ahead and kick that um, render out what I want to go ahead and do is just simply save this image to my desktop and we'll just call this the test one and I'm definitely going to need to shrink that down a little bit there okay we'll go ahead and just throw that out to the desktop I'm going to jump into Photoshop here and this will just take a second or two to load okay go ahead and grab that image from our desktop here there you can see we're test one there okay the pixel ratio obviously it comes in um, a little weird that's all right it's really no big deal I can go ahead and fix that um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new image and the image size here is going to be obviously the image size for our background uh, in that character UI and we want to make sure that we don't make it too large so um, something like 256 by 256 should be fine uh, well, but what I like to do is go ahead and throw it as 512 and 512 just so it's going to be a uh, rather large square I'm going to make sure that the background contents here are going to be transparent we'll go ahead and hit OK ok so there you can see that it creates our um, background for us or our image for us. I'll go ahead and just simply drag uh, our fish image over here and you can see that this still is a little bit stretched uh, and that's fine I'm just simply here hit control T and this is going to allow me to uh, adjust that a little bit so there you can see where our image gets uh, a little better shape okay go ahead and just double click that I'm gonna go ahead and fill the layer one here with black and we'll go ahead and just select the black there we'll go ahead and hit OK and just make sure that our 
fish is basically right in the middle there. Okay, we'll go ahead and just save this out as our tots fish underscore bg. And I'm going to go ahead and save this into our project folder here. So I need to make sure that I go into my training movies, tutorial recordings, CG tots, our basic fish rig, source images. And we'll just make this a JPEG. We'll go ahead and save that. We can go ahead and close Photoshop here. Jump back to Maya. Make sure that we select our mesh and reapply that um, uh, V ray shader here. We just want to make sure it's going to be gray, which is fine. Okay. Let's go ahead here and open our ABX picker script. Select the new picker sheet. We're going to go ahead and rename this as our tuts underscore fish. And the tab here, we're just simply going to make one. Um, so we'll just call this the uh, body controls. Okay. For the image here, obviously our image is going to be in our source image directory here so there you can see that our image gets brought in we'll just go ahead and turn the color here black so that it matches and that image is just a little bit weird there go ahead and refresh that and just remake it just to make sure if it's gonna come in properly and right now this is fine I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'll re-give you guys an image uh, or a better render whenever I go to uh, ship the all this stuff to you okay but what we need to do is make sure that we just select one of these controls grab one of these um, drag and drop color sheets we'll go ahead and just uh, drag that in here and you can see that that yellow comes in um, probably a little bit hard to see but that's okay we'll just go down here and select more so now we can select colors for this or colored controls Okay, so let's go ahead and just drag that yellow in the garbage can there. Okay, we can also add our manual controls to turn on and off here. Let me show you how to go ahead and do that. So we'll just create a button here. And I'm just going to make sure that I label this. So we would go to the label tab, just type in the label, we'll call this the manual swim. Hit enter so that the button changes. And just drag this middle mouse drag it to there so now you can see that this is going to be our manual swim but this isn't going to have a command function on it um, this is just mainly to be uh, show you that we can have the manual swim labeled here and then we'll put a, an on and off button here okay let's go ahead and grab a color button I'll just drag this in and we'll just build a UI here real quick and I'm just middle mouse dragging uh, these buttons in and to larger uh, scale these guys up I'm just holding down control and middle mouse dragging you know to make the size a little bit larger or smaller and just being a little bit careful there of how I actually place it so I want um, the one label, label to be on the other one here to be off and I'm not really worried about the colors of this uh, for the moment. I'll go ahead and here and change them in a little bit. Let me go ahead and open my script editor. Go ahead and bring this over here. And I need to clear the top here. Just make need to make sure that I scale that down a little bit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and clear the top there. Make sure that I select the CC Global Master here. And I want to see what the command here is for the touch fish main rig controls hidden. So this is going to be the visibility of zero. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. Hit control C to copy it. Go ahead and just pull that script editor back off there. I'm going to take my command. I'm going to highlight the custom there. Delete it. Hit control V to copy the uh, vis control command. Hit enter once it's pasted in there so that the button's going to work. Okay, go ahead and drag from the custom label here over to the off. 
so now this button should work but I need to make sure that the viz control here is going to turn back on so I'm just going to go ahead and change that 0 to a 1 and there you can see that that's getting turned on all those viz controls or uh, manual controls are getting turned on and then also turning off with this button so I can just drag this um, custom control back to the, the the on so now it's going to turn on and turn off okay and with those on I'm just going to simply select these controls and drag our controls here into the UI we're going to use the blue to signify the uh, left side and then we'll use red to signify the right side so we'll just go ahead here and grab these real quick I know that image here in the background is bad. Don't worry. I'll go ahead and change it for you guys before I uh, ship all this stuff out. I'm just using this as a, um, a showcase. Okay, so there's our blue and our red. Let's take our manual body control here. Go ahead and throw this here. And I'm just trying to match um, you know, where the placement here is inside of the perspective view window at least for the most part I mean it isn't going to be a hundred percent you know the same placement and that's okay go ahead and add the green here for the tail okay go ahead and select our global master we'll simply just drag this in as well let's go ahead and make our global master control here go ahead and label this okay so there you can see our UI is basically being built and let's take a look here inside of our outliner as well so here you can see that our uh, picker script in our picker window is getting created here so if I go ahead and select this and hit control G I'll just call this the character GUI window Oops, I actually renamed it wrong. And with that selected, I'll just simply shift select the global master control. I'll go ahead and hit parent there to parent that control to it or that window to it. And you know, just making sure that I'm constantly going to save the picker sheet here. Okay, let's go ahead here and change the color. So what we need to go ahead and do is just middle mouse drag the color onto our already created button you're going to see that it's going to change colors uh, to signify the on and off I'm going to use green and red so green would be on and red's going to be off go ahead and make sure that we save that as well okay we can also do a smooth control button here so what I want to go ahead and do is just turn those manual controls off go ahead and just create a new button here just make sure that this is going to be a little bit large so I can put a label on this and we'll call this the smooth levels I spelt that wrong I don't know today I seem to have actually a spelling problem go ahead and put that there okay let's create three buttons for this so we need the green which is would be the animation level yellow which would be the rendering level and I'm just trying to match that up properly or the red which will be the close-up and it's going to be much like a uh, a stoplight and we just need to make sure that we grab the commands uh, for that smooth level and to do that we'll just simply select our global master make sure that we bring back our script editor over go ahead and clear the top here Okay, so the smooth level is going to be zero. Go ahead and just highlight and copy that line of code into our command window for this. Go ahead and highlight the old code that was there. Just make sure that that works. And we'll go ahead here and just make sure that that works as level one. And I'm gonna make sure once I set all these that this is going to work completely. 
So these buttons will all work. Let's go ahead and just double check to make sure. Okay. So there you have our smooth control um, button works as well. And like I said, I'll go ahead and change this for you guys. Um, but this concludes our tutorial um, on how to rig a fish inside of Maya. Uh, this is, you know, transferable. You can see that I'm using Maya 2011. This is transferable over to Maya 2014 or any other version of Maya that you're using. Uh, I know Maya 2014 is out now. And it's been out for a while, so all this stuff, you know, really transfers over. Um, I'll make sure all you guys get all these scripts that I used here, which are just the, the ABX picker script, um, the control script, and uh, I think that's it. Um, definitely keep an eye on the website for more tutorials to come in the future. Uh, I definitely hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial. It's been a lot of fun creating it for you guys. Um, and I'll make sure that you guys get all these, uh, or make sure that you guys get this rig as well. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, definitely keep an eye on the website. So see you later.